name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. My brethren, when we look at the manger of the Lord, what do we see? If we look at it with the eyes of the flesh, we may not notice anything extraordinary. If we are not aware of the great mystery behind this birth, if we don't have faith, Christmas is just a nice story and nothing else. Just look at the world outside. Some people don't even know what Christmas is really about. And that's why they have to create all these illusions, all these fantasies that we see here and there, because they lack the real meaning of Christmas. But if we look at the manger of Christ with the eyes of our faith, then we know why this birth is so special. Because, my brethren, we know who he is and why he came. And that's what we have to have in mind every time we contemplate the mystery of Christmas. We need to remind ourselves who he is and the reason why he came to us. So who is that little child who was born of Mary? He is the only begotten Son of God. The Word by which God created all things. Who in the fullness of time became a man in the womb of the Virgin Mary. The Apostle St. John tells us, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This Word is Christ. He was in the beginning with God from all eternity. All things were made through Him, and without Him, nothing that exists was made. And the Word was made flesh. The Son of God became a man and dwelt among us. So that little child in the manger is God the Son, the second person of the Most Holy Trinity. But why did he come? The response is to be our Savior. Our Lord came to save us. But save us from what? The truth is that he came us to save us from hell. Which we all had deserved. Because of our sins. He came to die our death. To take upon himself our condemnation. In order to set us free. And give us eternal life. That's why he came. That little child was born to die for us as the victim of the great sacrifice of expiation. Behold the Lamb of God in the manger. Can't you see the child lies down on the wood of the manger 
in anticipation of what was to happen 33 years later, when he would lie down on the wood of the cross. In the manger, the Lord was already working our salvation. In the manger, my brethren, we have the beginning of our redemption. So on these days when we are called to contemplate in a very special way this beautiful mystery of the nativity of our Lord, let us keep in mind these two things, who He is and the reason why He came. My brethren, if the Son of God came down from heaven to save us from hell, it's because He loves us and He desires to have each one of us, each one of us with Him in heaven. Even if you were the only sinner on the face of this earth, know that He would have come and died only for you. Only to save your soul. So let us adore the mystery of his redemptive incarnation. When the wood of the manger announces the mystery of the cross. O oh, divine child who came to die for our salvation. May I always be faithful to Thee, so that I may be with Thee one day, in the glory of heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.